What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Wednesday. I'm doing real good myself. Shout out to Annette Diamond for uh, reminding me about this real trendy story right here, okay? And basically what it entails is about this brother named uh, Kevin Kelly, you know, in Dallas. You know, he owns this restaurant and everything, and he's very, you know, protective and passionate about his business and about the people that he serves. And the problem is, is that, uh, you know, you got these thoughts, you understand, that wants to come into the restaurant and show the ass, you know, twerk and all that. I don't know what the problem is with many of the people that are among, a, among us as a race. You know, I'm about getting tired of claiming these type of folks, to tell you the truth. Because it seems like every damn time a black person, you know, somebody, you know, tries to do something for his or her race, you know, like start a, a restaurant, you know, they get met with tons of disrespect from what's supposed to be their own people, okay? That's just bottom line, and that's not right. And, uh, you know, I would also, you know, add myself that, you know, with this brother with this restaurant and everything, he should even get security, you know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't doubt that... Uh, in somewhere in the near or in the future, may the most high forbid it. I mean, forbid it that uh, you know somebody might even try to rob him. You understand? What I mean, some of these 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 motherfuckers might run up in there and, and rob the man or any damn thing because they seem they do every damn thing that the enemy don't do. They make sure whatever the enemy miss, they cover. You understand? What I mean, and these are supposed to be of our people. I'm drawing a line in the dirt. You understand what I'm saying? To say, if there were to be a separation while we are here in the flesh, then we must separate not only from the enemy, you know what I mean? The 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 the, the white wanna be supremacist, wanna be our ad, but also the dumb black ones. That wants to do the same damn thing that um, the white wannabe supremacists do or has done, you know, to many of our, our the members of our race. You know, I have another story. You know, I'm not going to go through this article right here. But after we watch this video and what Mr. Kelly tells these people, you understand, we're going to go to the next story. And it also has something to do with twerking. So check this out. Now myself, I don't see anything wrong with what Mr. Uh, Kelly said about his establishment. And, you know, if these people that was, you know, there, that was actually twerking in the restaurant, respect themselves, you know, well, he wouldn't have never had to make that speech in the first place. It's just like I said before. I don't know why every damn time, you know, um, one of our, our brothers or sisters, you know, decide to uh, go out and establish something for themselves as well as well for the, their people. They're met with opposition from that of their people, or some of their people. It's a real ugly situation. You understand what I mean? But yeah, shout out to the brother Kevin Kelly right here for telling them what time it is. And that's all there is to it. Now we're going to go over to the next story and wait till you see what this is about. Black couple beaten badly for trying to stop teen girls from twerking. <laughs> you know, uh, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, when I was coming along, if, you know, 
either one of the, the elders or grown-ups, be, be it, you know, a man or a woman, were to tell you something. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't going to too much say shit back to them. You're just going to basically go on about your business. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, it was all about respect. It was all about respect. But no, no, nothing of the sort. You know, you got these uh, unruly ass uh, kids out here that's just off the chain, off the chain. You know, so basically, unless they're harming you or harming somebody, you understand, I mean, that uh, basically helpless and defenseless, don't say nothing to them. You know what I mean? Don't don't say nothing to them because um, you can wind up catching a case or uh, even yet, as in this case, wind up getting sent to the damn hospital. Let's get into this article. This is a shame. A black couple was badly beaten by a group of teenagers for trying to stop teen girls from twerking in public. MTO News has learned. The married couple, who are in their 40s, asked the teen girls to stop twerking and got a trip to the hospital as a result. Ain't that a damn shame? That's a shame, you know? It goes on to say here the incident occurred on Saturday night in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, outside the popular Haynes Mall, according to local reports. Police responded to the parking lot of Haynes Mall near TGIF in response to a reported fight involving a group of juveniles and two adults. You see? Now, again, back in the day, it was a time, like I said, if something were to happen, even if you were stupid enough to try an adult, you know, you would get some put on your ass. And that's the way our generation as people, you know, our age has got to be with these unruly ass teenagers, you know? Now, to, in conclusion right here, investigators told the media that the two victims were picking up their daughter at the mall when several juveniles assaulted them and took one of the victim's purse. In the video, you can see the parents trying to correct the behavior of the young girls who were twerking in public. That was a big mistake. In response, the girls jumped the mom, okay? Then a group of teen boys, or teenage boys, who were there with the girls jumped the father. Both were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Yesterday, a restaurant owner, which we just covered, in Dallas, Texas, made national news when he asked a group of women to stop twerking inside his restaurant. Luckily, that man was not physically attacked. Well, lucky for them, they didn't try to physically attack him. Because, see, people got this rod of correction. Folks are carrying that. And um, I can guarantee you, this uh, these teenagers, group of teenagers that jumped this couple, you know what I mean? Uh, Middle-aged couple who did this shit, they did that to them. They keep this shit out. Uh, we will hear about them eventually. You know, we will hear about them. Like I say, you can't ride for every last one of them that we hear get gunned down in the news because it could be judgment for shit that they've been doing to someone else, somewhere else. See, the most high, I mean the most high, rather, excuse me, the most high, he sees and knows it all, you know? And we always got to keep in mind that he is in control, you know? See, because these damn, these, these, can't, uh, these so-called kids, you know, it's a damn shame that an elder can't say, hey, y'all stop that shit right here, right there. Respect yourself. The Staples Singers, they made the best song back in the day when we were kids. Respect yourself. This generation right here, <laughs> they don't know nothing of the sort. They disrespect themselves and they disrespect anybody they come across. The only time they will respect you if they know you will crack their goddamn head. That's basically what it boils down to. You know. But hopefully hopefully this couple, you know, will heal. And I, I'm sure they will. You know, and uh, at this point, probably it's more of their ego. You know, their feelings is, is more damaged than any physical, you know, uh, pain that they've, you know, come across with these these low lowlifes you know again if 
we were to separate. Here's the line in the dirt again. These particular ones must be weeded out and left with the enemy because they are doing the work of the enemy. And therefore, they should be dealt with as the enemy. That's where I stand on it. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts and your views and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.